Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here with another beautiful Hunger Games, and I want to start this one off by saying thank you all so much for the incredible support on the past few Hunger Games here. It's been awesome seeing all the positivity in the comments and the huge ratings. We've been crushing out 10,000 likes on Hunger Games like it's nothing. So, uh, I guess welcome to the weekend. <laughs> this has been sweet so far, and I hope you dudes have been enjoying all the vids. So here we are in a solo Hunger Games, and there's a lot of great players. I recognize a lot of names in this lobby, so this is going to be a challenging game to win. And it looks like some players are already dropping like flies. We're down to 20 tributes. Wow, people are getting chopped up off spawn. I'm about to get... Well, I got sponsored a stone sword. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and you wanted the team. That's even more unfortunate. I, I, no mercy. Like, I, just, I just don't care right now. It's the start of a get away piggy push you back into the into the death pit <laughs> I don't even care right now because I, I'm gonna need every advantage I can get I've never played this map it's called civilization I have no idea what's going on here I'm gonna put on the leather cap half a piece of armor no mercy no mercy no mercy I will murder you Quinn Quinn or Quinnon I don't even care I just don't nope not even one care and please die yep thanks for the food and beautiful and good, good, great, great, great stuff. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's Monkey Sammy. And Monkey Sammy's got better armor than me, so I don't want to fight Monkey Sammy. Here, look, Monkey, take the swords. Yes, eat my bait. My bait is good, very good. All right, let's get away from here. I said, let's get away. <laughs> oh, boy, not what I want, not what I want, not what I want. Crazy people, crazy people, crazy people. Strafe and chop, strafe and chop. I got you, Minecraft. I'm just murdering people. This Stone Sword sponsorship was key! Ah, oh, wow, what knockback. Uh-oh, Monkey Sammy. If Monkey Sammy hit... Oh, Monkey Sammy's chasing down Tabatha. And now Tabatha's a pretty good player. So... Alright, well. Minecraft2165. Very unique username. Gotta credit you for that one. And, uh, well. I'm gonna run away into this direction of civilization and see what we find over there. Because I'm tired of this... Big old ocean of nothingness. It's it's just a cold water out here. Cold, cruel world. And I got Freddy the Iron Axe now. You know what? I'm already using a sponsored sword. I might as well use the sponsored axe. It's just as strong. But it looks cooler and shinier. Thanks. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be using these. I need to figure out. I'm not even sure if you can turn them off yet. Uh, how to deal with sponsors. Oh, I got my own stone sword. So now it's legit. Now I can use this axe and not feel bad about it. So that's good, I guess. Um... So yeah, I, I will be I will be speaking with the lovely one and only Turk Melon to figure out how to deal with that. He is the developer of the server, so he should be able to tell me how to uh, turn them off. And if that's not a feature that's available to us right now, he will make it available to us at uh, his earliest convenience. So don't you worry about that. If you're like me and you want to record and not deal with people giving you handouts, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, I'm dead. Great timing. Great timing. Thanks, Monkey Sammy. You got me. What can I say? And I'm gonna become a piggy and get you back. I hope. That was just unfortunate. Really bad timing. Why, why was I like sorting through inventory? And I always teach this lesson, and that is very simply, um, pay attention, watch your back if you're going to do something stupid. But my problem is I always get too lost in the commentary. Like I'm just not thinking. I'm not playing Hunger Games at that point. I'm just chatting with my lovely viewers. Oh, I don't want to take fall damage. That could have been bad. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my problem when it comes to playing these is I just... Like I said, I get lost in the commentary, which I shouldn't do. I should know better than that. I've only played about a thousand Hunger Games or more, so <laughs> I should know better than to uh, worry about the gameplay first and my blabbering second, but sometimes my mouth just rambles and I can't stop it, and then I don't pay attention, and then I die like that really pointlessly to Monkey Sammy, but that's okay. I'm going to come back and chop him up as long as, well, he has my bow and my arrows now, so that's not good. Because that's, that's, a, that's a mutant's worst friend, is a bow and arrow. It's really awful, because your health doesn't regenerate. So when they get a good hit on you, it's bad news bears. Really bad news bears. Either way, I'm going to make my way across. Across to Monkey Sammy. And let's see, Monkey Sammy. Monkey Sammy. Oh, we're closing in quick. Now, can I get the jump on him? That's the question. I think that's a definite yes. Uh-oh. 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 Close fight. Close fight. I think I got this one. Got him. Oh, baby, I'm back. Baby, I'm back. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -boo. Oh, that was close, though. I had about a heart or two left. And I'm going to take all this. I don't want Tobatha getting this stuff. Although, I think Tobatha's probably got her own weapon by now. 
And let's see, uh, put that on. Any boots, any boots, any boots, any boots with the fur? No, nope, no boots with the fur. I still got two arrows left. Very good. Six eggs. Um, don't need those, don't need those. And please, please, what? <laughs> Screenshot. Okay. I got to give a little story about this guy. Uh, or girl, I'm, I'm really, I, the skin, I can't, I mean, I assume it's a guy, but a girl could always use this skin as a troll, I don't know. Um, I just gotta give a little story, a short tale of Tobatha. We had an epic fight a few matches ago, because I've been on a losing streak here, and, um, very frustrating losing streak, because it'd be going really well, commentary's awesome, gameplay's awesome, and then I would lose and die to something awesome, and then the person who killed me couldn't even cheer for them, because we'd both get, basically, whoever would have won that fight would have died anyways. For example, we had a great fight. Tobatha dropped, like, I was chasing her up a giant ladder, dropped the TNT, perfectly timed, it exploded right when it was on me. I dropped down to two hearts. I had to climb down the ladder, turn to run for my life, and then um, I, I regen to eight hearts. I, I got in a little bit of a sword fight with, with Tobatha. I, I got I got this person down to one and a half hearts. Tabatha had one and a half. I had four hearts, and then just that per Tabatha went in. He I'm just gonna call Tabatha a he. I hope it's a guy, but it might be a girl. So it, it, it she he. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I feel really bad about that. You know what? I'm gonna work with this person because I'm telling a good tale today about you. Um, so I'm down to one and a half. So she's that person is stick it. Hold on, let me just ask. Um, don't take this the wrong way. Are you a guy or a girl? <laughs> guy, okay. Perfect. Alright, just making sure. I, th I, I thought so, but I, I would feel really bad if it was a girl and I kept calling them a guy all day. But I, I assumed it was a guy, but I didn't want to say for sure. Uh, but anyways, so he was down to one and a half. I had four hearts still in that fight. And then I just got put on the chopping block. Like three big hits. I exploded. And then literally... Within half a second of me dying, guy with a diamond sword comes in and kills Tabatha. So Tabatha dropped down instantly as well. So had I even won that fight, I would have still got murdered instantly with a diamond sword. So craziness, craziness, craziness. See you in the D, babe. And um, so yeah, crazy, crazy fight there. And then we had another match on Gaia where I think he was just trolling. And I just murdered him off spawn because he's just punching me for the lols. And I got a sword and just whacked his face in. So, craziness, lots of fun with that guy, a little bit of history, and he's a good, really good player, so watch out for him. A couple of other good players in this lobby. Let's see, any of them left right now, or did some of them get killed off spawn? I think some of them might have died, but there are some crazy, crazy Hunger Deans players out there that I'm scared of. Like, when I battle them, I know it's going to be a, a serious fight, because they don't treat me like anybody else. We we have our conversations in chat, like, you know, just troll -a lolling but when it's a fight, it's a fair fight, and it's it's for blood. It's out for blood. And it's crazy. And I love that. I love that about the Hunger Games and playing with fans is when you meet the people that you remember their names and, and hang out with, see them in other Hunger Game matches and know that they're they're gonna be they're gonna be fair and friendly about the fight for the most part, but they're gonna be a challenge. They're gonna be an intense battle. And that's fun. I love that. So let's see. Uh, nine tributes remaining, fifteen spectators. Uh, any loot here? I should really have checked my back before I did that. <laughs> Walk inside of a death chamber. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, swoop de whoop, and there goes another tribute. Oh, from fall damage. Oh no no, snipes from eleven and a half blocks away. Nice. I thought that was about to. I thought it said fall damage at first from eleven and a half blocks of falling, but that's nuts. Good snipes, good snipes all around. And let's see, I want to get some better pants and boots, and perhaps another iron ingot. That'd be sweet. I'm not sure where this came from. I assume I got it from a dead body. Maybe Monkey Sammy had it, but I don't know. And let's see, uh, any loot up here? I'm pressing these. What's happening when I press these? Should I be scared? Uh oh, bounty rising, bounty levels rising. <laughs> uh oh, people may want me dead now. Great, that's just what I needed. More threats in the hunger, Dean Skidoodles. It's okay. There's chest restock in less than a minute already. Holy smokes! Uh, I don't think I'm getting a spawn in time, but dang, I didn't realize that. I'm going to try and get to spawn, because there's for sure going to be some fights there. Let's see. Uh, breaking the bullet. Probably at spawn right now if he's 200 blocks away. He's probably waiting for spawn loot. All right. All right. I guess I should not go to spawn then at this point. 30 seconds. I didn't even realize we're this far into the Hunger Games already. All right. I'll take the gold here. I got apples, so I'll wait for this chest to refill. And let's scout out a couple more. Do I see any more loot on the horizon? Iron boots. 
I'm not using those. Oh, it's Minecraft 2165. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the sponsorship. But little known fact is I'll only use sponsorships if I'm in ultra dire need. Kind of like the real Hunger Games. Like Katniss Everdeen and, and Peter, they don't, they don't use anything unless they really, really need it. Otherwise, they, they play fair. <laughs> Chests have restocked. All right. Another stone sword, another pumpkin pie. And let's see. Um, actually, it's really not quite like that in the real Hunger Games. It's more like they don't get sponsorships unless they're in dire need of it. Like, they're not like, here's some medicine. I know you're not sick or injured. It doesn't work like that. It's, you're really sick and injured. Here's some medicine. <laughs> or it's, you don't have a weapon. Here's, a, here's some arrows. But not, not the other way around. It's not, you're stacked. Get more stacked. No. I'm not about that life, and, and neither are they. So, let's see. What's in this chest over here? On the big statue of civilization. The seventh wonder of the world. And snowballs. And a steak. Alright, put the stick in my hot bar. Grab the steak. And some chest here. Closest tribute is 150 away. I really like... Oh, people are dropping. I really like having the compass so I can goof off a bit. Oh, it's Tobatha's the closest enemy. With five tributes remaining, people are dropping. That cannon sound is so scary and intimidating. All right, still quite far away, 150. Good. Oh, XP bottles for days. I need to find an enchant table right now. Lingerie pants, put those on. And let's store it. Let's check this real quick. Yeah, really far away. And there's no mutants after me, nothing like that. Store all of this. And... Store, 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 store. What else do we not need? I don't need those. I'll keep those for now. And I don't need those. That should do the trick. Let's try and find an enchant table. I've never played this map before. So I have no idea if I'm going to find one. But all I do know is level 1. Level 2. Can I squeeze out a cheeky level 3? Oh, so close. So close to a level 3. All right, let's waddle around for a bit. Arrows, perfect. Another good piece of food. And let's see, enchantment table. Where the heck are you? Hmm. I've never played this map, so I'm just, I have no clue. I have no clue. An iron helmet? Well, I don't need that. So I'm going to take it and throw it on the ground, sucker. That's what I think of your sponsorships. I don't know how many times I can say it, but I'll say it. Only sponsor me if you can tell I'm in dire need. Otherwise, I'm not going to accept your offering. And I really want to get sharpness on my sword. Hopefully get an iron ingot first. That'd be sweet. Sharpness iron sword. And a power one bow. I know I don't have the most arrows in the world. But still, be super dank. Seven arrows. Literally, if I have power one and I only hit one shot, that's still going to be like hitting two arrows, basically. So, I feel like I should... Oh, chest. Oh, I don't want that stuff. I feel like I should start exploring new areas, look for that enchantment table. Let's do it. Uh, one more tribute dies and we go to the D anyways. And I believe, if I remember correctly, Breaking Bullet's another talented Minecraft uh, PvP or so. Gotta watch out for that person too. And let's see, closest player is Breaking the Bullet right now. And they are 200 blocks away, so I'm not really worried. I'm not gonna sprint jump, I'm just gonna sprint normal. And get some more loot. Um, sure, more eggs. More turk melons, more feathers, why not? If they're already in my inventory, might as well stack them up. And let's see what's in this chest. And... Ah, oh, perfect, an iron ingot. I know there's a crafting bench over there, so if someone dies, I'm just going to run to that workbench. Um, but for now, I will instead be on the hunt for an enchant table. Because I got levels to spend. And what did I get sponsored? I got sponsored another iron helmet. Iron helmets galore being thrown on the floor. <laughs> wow, I'm a poet. I didn't know it. Give me a dime for every time I drop a hot rhyme. Alright, I'm done. I'm done embarrassing myself. Cool, cool, cool. Stop! If that's another iron helmet, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Alright, I need a workbench and an enchant table. Alright, there's a chest over here. We'll make our way over to it. Imagine I just get two diamonds out of this chest. That'd be sweet. Or another XP bottle, too. Well, I need to find an enchant table anyways. Alright, more. I have 13 egg of dooms. Nice. Hunger and confusion. Do I have slow balls? I do. Alright, closest person. Oh, Libre. Libre, Libre, Libre. Close, on top of this mountain somewhere, I assume. So I gotta be careful now. I am gonna check the rest of these chests. I want my iron sword, though. 
An extra heart of damage wouldn't be too bad. These have been looted, clearly. Libre must have been here. Yeah, I don't want any of this. Alright, Libre, you are 70 blocks away. I don't really want to kill you, though. I want to find the enchant table. Is there an enchant table on this map? Everyone keeps sponsoring me. I'm going to lose it. Uh, I think. Oh, I can make one gold apple. That's going to be super handy, too. You know, let's just find a workbench for now. This could be the enchant zone, actually, up here. So I'm not going to go towards Libre. I'm just going to go into this building. I know it's 60 blocks away. Hopefully they don't know that I'm up here. Because uh, I just wanna I just wanna scout this. I just went past it. Okay. Well hopefully there's two of them then. I feel like this is not a safe place to be. Oh diamond. Very nice. Pumpkin pie. Maybe I'll get another diamond before I even find my workbench. But I do want to make that gold apple too. That's going to be huge. That's an extra two hearts, potentially an extra four if I eat it at the right time. So, with the regen on it. So this is going to be key. Deathmatch in four minutes. Another cobweb. Oh, a cake. Cakes are always handy. And I have so many eggs. I'm almost a max stack of eggs. Okay, another sponsorship. Is it an iron helmet that I can throw on the ground? Dang it, I really like throwing iron helmets on the floor. That would have been sweet. Alright, closest player is 40. It's Tabatha down there. Um, long Hunger Deans. Yeah, boy. Hey, you. <laughs> I want to find the enchant table so badly. Alright, where is it? Breaking. Where's that table? <laughs> oh, Libre's down there. We might have an all-out brawl, but I don't want to brawl yet. Near mid. Okay. Uh-oh. This person's coming for blood. Diamond sword swag on, too. Gonna keep my distance from this person for now. Alright, on a pirate ship near spawn. Alright, so here's spawn. Just believe. Ah, Kip, I trust you. <laughs> Going to the pirate ship. Gonna get my enchanted iron sword, my enchanted bow, and all will be well. Make my gold apple too. Yeah, Tobath is the closest from 65 blocks. Alright, breaking the bullet. I love you a long time, buddy, if you're telling the truth. I really, because I don't know these maps. I've never played it. Well, this map at least. I have no idea. Oh, another TNT. Maybe I'll find another diamond, another cake. Another TNT. I want that arrow. Five sweet and hot and spicy arrows. Oh my gosh, the loot. Gotta love the loot. Oh, I failed. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The snipe by Tobitha. That person in the diamond sword to Tobitha. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, come on, Mitch. Gold apple. And... Iron sword. Gonna need these enchants. Pirate boat, pirate boat, pirate boat. Where's the pirate boat? Oh boy, 45 seconds till the D. I see it, I see it. So, if that, if it's really just on that, I should be able to make it. Please, 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 please. Please! I have three levels to burn! 30 set, 20 se Oh, this is not good enough. No! <laughs> so close. I bet you I'm going to just see it. I'm going to get a little teaser. Alright, alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is so sad. This is so sad. It's in there with the bookshelves, isn't it? The saddest day for a bench. Just the saddest. Oh, okay. Oh, well, <sighs> diamond swords on everybody, it looks like. Sorry, bullet. I need that sword. I know. I know you're a good man and all, but I need your sword. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> you told me where the chat table was, but no mercy today. I really just need to win this. All right. Who's left? 
All right, let's have a little Katniss battle with this guy. Oh, poor, poor jumper. Poor jumper. Me and Tobitha are going to go in. We're going in for the kills. <laughs> We're doing it for the lols. For the vine, actually. <laughs> this is a weird deathmatch. It's a water D. All right. Ready? All right, let's see. Okay, I'm going to shower him in XP. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, if he's taking some of this, I'm going to take some of this, too. Iron helmet. Iron legs. Oh, baby. Iron boots, too. Why not be a cheeky one? Baby, full iron. <laughs> oh, it's Betty! Oh! Yeah, I'll fight with Betty. Alright, that makes sense. I got slightly better armor. I'll t and well, I mean, I got a slightly better weapon now. This isn't fair now. I got better armor. And Betty? <laughs> How do we even fight this? Najee. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I got the gold apple swag, too. Alright. Let's do this. Bow or no bow? Let's see what he says. Alright. Hockey! Go! Badam bam badam! Oh, the jukes! The jukes! Alright, Betty's going in. Betty! I want the last hit on Betty, dang it! But I'm not gonna risk losing! You did this! Betty was hungry! Betty wanted to eat! But you didn't let Betty eat, you let Betty starve. <laughs> Good fight though. I really wanted that last hit with Betty, but that's okay. Betty did get a few chops in there, a little taste for blood. And uh, awesome, awesome fight. Really sweet Hunger Games. I hope you dudes all enjoyed this really long episode of Hunger Games. Of course, if you did, be sure to smack that like button your forward, show some love. Let's see if we can break 15,000 likes here today. That would be awesome because we've been crushing out massive ratings on Hunger Games this weekend so far. So definitely show some love there by doing that. It would be much appreciated. And other than that, I will catch you dudes all later. Love you long time. Good night, everybody.